Welcome to the Metals Investment Forum. I'm here with Golden Mineral CEO Warren Wren. Warren, welcome to the Metals Investment Forum. Thank you, Chen. Glad to be here. All right. Um, Golden Mineral is uh, one of those uh, junior miners getting to production successfully. I mean it because if you see other juniors like Pure Gold and other complete disaster down 90, 95 percent share price, Golden Mineral actually brought a small mine into production successfully on budget and on schedule. Maybe you can tell us uh, how did you do it? I'm, I'm very proud of our team for bringing Rodeo in. Um, it's our mine in Durango, Mexico, as you mentioned, that we just brought on into production last year, early last year. Uh, we completed the full year of production, um, you know, just right on target, uh, produced the plus 14,000 uh, ounces of gold that we had planned. Um, it was done with careful planning. You know, we have a great team, um, you know, good communication, and you know, very cognizant of the various steps that had to be taken. And frankly, Mexico is one of the easier countries to get permits in still for smaller operations. And so that helps as well. Well, excellent. So uh, you were able to find more gold uh, by, by drilling and extend the man life. Originally, it was like a year or two. Now you seem to have a longer, um, potentially much longer. Yes, man yes, life. We, did, we did. So we did quite a bit of drilling after we started up you know, last year and then even early this year. Um, and we were able to extend the, uh, the, the, the resource, uh, mostly to the south. Um, and we incorporated that into our recent update in the uh, 43101 report that we published in March. Um, and so, yeah, it, it added at least uh, you know, two quarters uh, to the production and potentially there's some more uh, that can be added as we look at the results from this year. Plus we have some lower grade material that we're currently stockpiling. That'll give us additional potential uh, feed for the mill um, after the higher grade material is exhausted. But right now we look at production through uh, the third quarter of 2023. So that's an extension over the initial plan by about six months. Oh, excellent, excellent. So how much uh, profit or margin you're making out of this mine? Uh, so last year was uh, the, the net operating margin was about 12 million, just over. Um, we were producing gold at uh, oh, just over $900 an ounce. Um, this year will be a little bit less. Uh, it'll be uh, between seven and nine million net operating margin. Uh, and that's mostly because the gold grade's a bit lower this year as compared to last year as we get uh, a little bit deeper in the deposit. Okay, excellent. So I understand you're using the money to try to build a second mine. Absolutely. No, it, it gives us the cash flow that we need to do the development steps um, and, and finish the studies on the Velardania uh, mine plan that we're working on. And we're looking forward to a positive production decision in the next month or two. Mm -hmm. um, it also gives us the money to do the exploration work on our, our couple of very promising exploration properties in Mexico and Argentina. So it means we don't have to go to the market for more cash. Right. We're making you, our own money. You haven't, yeah, you haven't gone to the market for a long time. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. It's, it's a very nice change for the company and for the investors, of course. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. So uh, how much cash you have right now? And then that's uh, sufficient to cover most of the, the startup cost? Um, it, it's a good margin of cash. We have uh, just under 12 million as of the end of March, uh, end of the first quarter. Um, and bear in mind, we continue to make money. We're spending quite a bit of it on the exploration programs, but it gives us a good uh, initial um, you know, kitty to do the development work that we need uh, for Bellardania. We'll need some additional money to build the Biox plant, assuming we get the approval to do so. Um, that's coming in at about 15 million US uh, for uh, updated capital cost on the Biox. So you know, we have easily, say, half of that in the treasury, and we'll be looking for you know, sources for the other, which mostly will be from either a forward sale or a, a, a offtake agreement, perhaps just short term, and potentially from a small debt facility. Oh, excellent. So you're very close in bringing this uh, world class uh, silver, gold, gold, silver mine back to production. A absolutely. And it's going to make a big difference for the company. It's, it's a longer lived asset. Uh, the, the current resource uh, allows for 11 years of production. Um, it'll produce just under 2 million silver equivalent ounces per year at a good price point. Um, you know, it'll be 
you know, net cash flow, operating cash flow for the company for the foreseeable future, which will just be a transformational point for the company. You know, beyond the initial production at Rodeo, which is short-lived, you know, the Velardena gives us that long-lived producer. Excellent. So uh, what's your plan for other exploration in, in Mexico and, and beyond? We're currently drilling uh, two properties, one in Mexico, one in Argentina. The, uh, the property in Mexico is in Chihuahua State, the Yoquivo District. We've, we've deal, this is the third drill program there, I think, and uh, you know, we've had some really great uh, results from the first uh, couple. So we're following up on a very high-grade ore shoot, gold, silver, and veins um, on the Pertinencia vein in the Okivo district, and we should have results out uh, later this summer. The, the Argentina property is, is just a, a follow-up on a discovery hole that mm -hmm. we announced in January. Um, oxide gold, very shallow, very good grade, uh, just under two grams gold, uh, wide open, so good potential for a possible open pit scenario. Um, and this will be just a follow-up, first follow-up drill program on that. So we're very hopeful and that's an exciting project. Yeah, so what's your plan for those um, projects going forward? You want to explore a certain, certain scale and find a partner or sell it or? Depending on the scale of, of the project, uh, we could either develop them ourselves or, or look for a partner to help us develop. Um, in the Argentina district where we're exploring, we're in elephant country. We're not too far from Lindero, uh, Fortuna Silver is Lindero, and we're right next to the Taka Taka deposit of uh, First Quantum. So it's quite possible that we have a big, a big uh, uh, target on our hands, a big potential deposit. We'll see how it goes. Well, when the results will come out? I mean, you a little bit later this summer, I think uh, toward the end of the summer uh, at the latest, uh, it usually takes about two months to get two results to after drilling starts. Okay. Wow, excellent, very exciting. Yeah, finally, I understand you have Barrick, uh, lies, you know, got, got, got into a JV with you to uh, try to find a huge, big gold deposit. They're hoping for five million and, and above. So uh, can you tell us uh, what, what's their plan and what's the timeline? Yeah, the, the, the Barrick uh, option um, we, we entered into in 2020, so it's the second full year. Um, and they option our LK of our district where we have that very interesting silver uh, deposit. But for, from Barrick's point of view, it's, you know, they're looking for the very large high sulfidation gold deposit. Um, they've got permission to drill. Uh, they're planning to drill this year, I believe, um, and we're just waiting for them to get that started. Yeah, the big company moves slowly, but uh, <laughs> you know it's an option for you and uh, your shareholders. Absolutely, they're they're a great company and they do great work. Um, takes maybe more time than the juniors uh, usually take to do the same work, uh, but uh, you know the ultimate potential is huge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent! So you have so many catalysts coming for the rest of the year. There's quite a few, yeah, no, yeah. beyond beyond the ro continued Rodeo production, uh, Velardena getting into production, results from Yokivo, from Sarita Este, and potentially the Barrick story. Right. Excellent, excellent. Good luck. Hope to see your, con your continued success as your shareholder. Thank you very much, Chen. I appreciate it. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.